Give me your initial reaction when you saw Carlos turn your back, turn his back on you last night when he went out there. Yeah, I mean, obviously, you know, it, not ideal. Um, you know, a little disappointed in the moment, you know, how it's being handled. But anytime you go out into the arena like that and the emotions are running high, uh, especially with him, you know, at times it's, you know, what makes him great. It's also can be his undoing that, you know, those type of things can happen. You know, it's not what you're looking for or the way you want it to be handled. But at the same time, you, you understand where it's born out of a, a place of frustration in himself and the situation we're in. So, you know, you try to take it all in, in perspective. Did you seek him out or did he seek you out? thereafter he tried to seek me out after the game we just didn't catch up before we all left and then uh, we connected today and just got everything squared away what was that conversation like you know remorseful apologetic obviously understanding it just puts everybody in a tough spot you know obviously the situation we finished the season in there with him on the mound you know just a lot of things we felt like we were gaining ground on um, and you were hoping to finish strong and you know just trying to rehash some of that just a little bit just the you know behavior in general you know a lot of things that we just covered some good ground and felt like we, we felt landed in a good spot what have you thought uh, about the behavior because he's kind of had a few moments this year where he's lost to control yeah I, I mean it's part of what makes him really good at times and it's a part of you know what he can it can undo him in certain situations so it's just a fine line that these guys have to toe when they go out there and compete at the highest level and you know it's something we're constantly working on as a group and him in particular and just knowing that he's got to set a tone for our guys and you know some of our younger guys he's been in the league for a while and you know we want him to go out there and have a lot of success and behave in the right ways and you know obviously this is one that we'd look back and you know wish we could you know have back it was the shortest start of Rodon's career. He did not retire a batter. I will say this, guys. He was standing at his locker when the media was allowed in the clubhouse after the game, accountable, answering every question. Obviously not pleased with his performance and also not pleased with his actions towards Matt Blake. So those two guys seem to have cleared things up. And if the Yankees are going to have success next season, Carlos Rodon is going to have to be a big part of it. You heard Matt Blake later in that interview say they were going to go back to the drawing board. Certainly some things mechanically that they would like him to work on and also his velocity was down a little bit last time out and that's something they're going to do a deep dive on and see if there's anything going on there. Carlos Rodon said after the game that he does feel healthy. He doesn't think it's something physically so perhaps something mechanically they can tweak going into next season and spring training.